Hundreds of supporters of the Pine Valley Golf Course attended a rally yesterday. The Friends of Pine Valley are hoping to convince City Council to abandon a core review recommendation to sell the golf course. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. They pay paradise, put up a parking lot. It was the theme song to the rally to save Pine Valley. The shirts were donned and the supporters of the golf course were out in full force to convince the city to keep their beloved course. This rally provides an opportunity for City Council and others who are not regular users to see firsthand the volunteer efforts of the Pine Valley Makeover of 2010. More than 100 volunteers planted over 7,000 trees and seedlings. And that's after the Council made a commitment to keep Pine Valley. Members of City Council were also on hand to hear from friends of Pine Valley's Don Chamberlain. It gave one city councillor a chance to see the people who would be impacted by the golf course closure. When they call for something like a rally, if, if one person showed up, it would send one message. But if you get a multitude like you have here tonight, it sends an entirely different message. Both Edmonton and Vancouver operate golf courses along with pitch and putt courses similar to Pine Valley. There are lots of communities that do have municipal course courses around North America, not just in the few cities that you mentioned. But there's also a lot of other communities that are getting out of the golfing business. And so the challenge for us is how do we afford to maintain all of these facilities, fix the roads that people are asking for, not raise the taxes because they don't want to see that either, and take advantage of some of the opportunities that we have. But according to Councillor Garth Frizzell, the argument has yet to be made and is merely a recommendation from the core review. Now the argument in the core review wasn't, uh, wasn't very complex, it wasn't uh, very much in depth, you didn't have uh, market sounding, you didn't have uh, actual proof of concept in it. Chamberlain and the supporters are still concerned with the lack of consultation with the public. The Pine Valley issue is going to an in-camera session of council in June. This is an issue that will affect our community for generations and the citizens of Prince George deserve to be consulted long before any decisions to rezone this parkland and potentially sell it off. According to the supporters of the Pine Valley Golf Course, it only cost the city about $4,000 last year to run the course. But when there was a driving range here, it was generating about $90,000 in profit, which has now been replaced by a car lot. And with no practice facility at the PG Golf and Curling Club, there's no practice facility for anyone in the bowl. Zamir Karim, CKPG News.